guarantee you what I did. Buddy. How you doing? You alright? Not too bad. Uh, what are they doing with biking around here? What do you mean? Well, I mean, are they going to like change? Yeah, at the moment, everything's one way out of town, isn't it? Oh, the one way system, you mean? Yeah. I've no idea. That's people who are way above my pay grade. Well, well, I've, I've no idea what they're doing. Not really. Is it, is it LCC that you're working for? Or it is, it is, yeah. LCC? So <laughs> what, days, what, what days do you work on then? Uh, well, I'm working this week. I think I'm off Wednesday. Does Wednesday? I'm, I'm, off, I'm off tomorrow and I'm off Wednesday. Wow. I thought you only did like one day a week uh, around it. Or, is that, <laughs> is that like, so you're in Accrington or are you working somewhere else? No, we do different areas. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, so you're not in Accrington, you're not necessarily on, on No, I'm not here every day. Although this, Accrington is one of my favourite beats, to be fair. Is it? So yeah, I go yeah. Do everywhere. Yeah, Accrington's all right. And then up Duke Bar at Burnley, I like doing that there as well. That's all right. You get three hours anywhere, though, do you? It's supposed to be three hours yeah, free no, parking. Well, this bit, no. Why? So from where the uh, Vauxhall is, yeah. where these three cars are, it's yeah. disabled bad jollies only. Where there's no where there's no lines or anything? That's up to Lancashire Council, is wow. I, I can't do anything about it. What, but, but, but can you still get done? Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Why? Because all they need are signs, because they've got a sign there with arrow facing this way, right. and this side here. But yeah, as, as long as the signs are up. Surely, if, I mean, Blackburn's not the same, is it? Because at Whiteburn, they've got the signs, they've got the... Uh, they've got the um, yeah, well, some at Disabled Bay. But they've got no, uh, no, got no working, no working meter or out like that, so... No working meter? Yeah, meter don't work. You've got to pay to park on the street, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not yet, you say, you know, no, they're, they're thinking we, of bringing we, it in, aren't they? We don't have that over here. Well, oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they did that. A Lancashire County Council mooted the idea, and I think our... Our uh, our lead, well, yeah, deputy yeah, leader, yeah, 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 yeah. Peter Brickley. He works. He, he's a language county council as well, and he's yeah. basically yeah, so said, "Well, we're spending ten million on this and ten million on that, so they w they would encourage LCC not to charge for parking." And I mean, to be fair, I mean, like, yeah. depends on your point of view, yeah, doesn't it? Accrets is pretty good because there's loads. Of, I mean, even car parks that belong to I'm member of council. They're free. I mean, like this. How do you get away with this? Like, I mean, like the, the council don't own it. So how come you can? How, why, why do you get to charge money for it? What do you mean they don't own it? Well, you know, like, oh, you, oh, you do it. Well, this is an adopted road, right? Well, so Lancashire that, Council, the Highways Authority, aren't they? Yeah. So, so, so they set the rules for the. Yeah, for but the, the public pay for the roads. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah. so technically speaking, like the public should be allowed to park on the po on what they what they pay for. Well, that's why we have councillors. So you vote councillors in, and then you say, mm, "Well, I want this." Councillors don't mean anything, does it? Our councillors don't can't, can't control Lancashire County Council, can they? I mean, like, you know, the our, our county council, the, count, the county council councillors can, though. <laughs> yeah, but we're, we're, they're a few and far between. And to be well, I mean, all their information is online. Just go online and find mm. out who they are and send them an email or you know, give them a I mean, ring. All, all the details are on there. It's like these... these. But yeah, I couldn't understand what you're saying, but Lancashire Council... Um, I mean, are these classed as unadopted roads? Or well, adopted it's, roads? It's public anyway, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, it could be unadopted or adopted in public, couldn't it? Right, well... I mean, it's just no adopted, idea. just it just decides on who pays for it, doesn't it? Well, maybe, yeah. You know, it's yeah. like this road going down here, isn't it? Like a Broadway, Accrington Council charge a fine if you park on Broadway. Yeah, because we can't do anything about the middle bit. You know, yeah, but why not? So, so that's a private road. Because apparently that belongs to Highbury Council. Yeah, but how can it? How can it belong to Highbury Council? They've only yeah. Highbury Council only been in existence since 1974. Like, I reckon right. that I reckon that I reckon that road's been there since before 1974. So they can't be the owners. Well, quite possibly, yeah. So yeah. you know what I mean? So like, it's like they claim something that's not theirs, and then the likes of. Well, whoever the enforcement is down there, enforce it. They use a private company down there. They do use a private company, yeah. They do. A bit dodgy, really. Yeah, we, we don't. We don't. I mean, we've had complaints about people parking on there, but... Yeah. But you get a ticket. You get a ticket through the door if you uh, if you park on How there. How do they do it? Through cameras? Is it through cameras, yeah. Yeah, AMPI. This is why I always park in a council car park as well. Well, well, I mean, don't trust these AMPR the, the problem around here is obviously the, 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 the council car park you bit, they, they, they gave to the police force, didn't they? And they said, oh, yeah, the police cars can all park on the back. Around the back, yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. I mean, there, there goes one at car park. Yeah, don't you need a permit to go around back as well to park on that, unless it belongs. Uh, unless it's a police vehicle. You don't, you don't need a permit. When this, when this, I mean, now the market's here, like, I mean, like, um, I mean, like, what, what's correct there? I mean, like, as far as LCC is concerned, I mean, they're, they're actually technically on the road, aren't they? Technically, um, so, like, they're causing obstruction. Yeah. Can I park there where that green is? 
so I weren't sure. Oh, it's good to touch you like in the evening. Alright, oh, yeah, I'll only be like 10 minutes. Yeah, no, you're fine yeah. there, it's alright. Quite where you uh, want, as long as you don't let well, go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so they've this is all causing us, isn't it? They've, they've got some agreement somewhere with well, uh, the Sky Council. But, well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, like... I, can't, I, can't I mean, the, I, can, I, can I can appreciate the Council having an agreement with Lancashire County Council, but at the end of the day, me, as a member of the public, paying for a road, should be able to access it. Irrelevant of what deal LCC's got with Hyderabad Council, what about my access that I pay for? Well, then you need to speak to it at town, aren't they? Yeah, what, they're going to move up? Well, yeah, they're not going to move, are they? I don't think so. I think they're no. fixed now, aren't they? They're fixed for the so, next five years. I mean, they said 18 months, but... Yeah, they're, they're, not, they're not just cabinets, are they? They're no, no, fixed. They are. Fixed the work guy said, uh, the workman there, he said five years. I said, well, that's funny, did he? Well, they said 18 months in the... So what's uh, happening with old market building? 10 million. No, 10 million. Spending 10 million on it. Yeah. From the levelling up fund. I'm surprised you don't know. LCC no. have got a shed load of money, didn't they? Did they? LCC got 200 million. How can you not know? You work for LCC, how can you yeah, not know? Yeah, but I'm highways, I, I just deal with highways traffic got 30, and parking. Highways no, it's got 30 so. million, right? 30 million for a one-off one off, one off um, road. Yeah, yeah. Hyman Borough Council won it to uh, basically put a new road into, into Homecourt Garden Village. You know, like yeah. Miles was saying yesterday, it was something like a 240 million pound project or something up at, up at Homecourt. So basically, like, there's a levelling up fund of 30 million quid for a road. Yeah. The council won't want the 30 million quid for, for that road. But because of the timings, they've had to spend, the council have had to spend £900,000, like, to prepare the road. But they don't know whether they're going to get the grant or not, yeah? So it's like, they're spending money, money, our money on a gamble. Which would be all right, except. Well, you think they'd wait, really, wouldn't they? Well, they can't. They, they can't yeah. because if they if they wait, they won't have time to do the. But basically, basically, they're going to get the money if they get it in. Say they get it in September. Yeah, yeah. They've got it. They've got it until April. They've got five months. Yeah, well, yeah. So, so they've got to pre-build things so that when they get the money, they can just come in and finish it off, pay themselves back and finish it off. But, Cranbourne Council's reputation for winning bids isn't very good. I mean, yeah, they're doing ten million pound on the on the market, and there's ten million pound they're doing over here on the on this on this Burton building, oh, yeah, on yeah. that building there. So there's ten million pound being spent what's on both. Been, what's happening with that uh, this building here? Because there were a lot of work going on. You know, what in the middle, uh, uh, bees knees, aren't there? Not between uh, bees knees and that. Um, uh, you get an ice cream shop. Or yeah, well, I think they've just done. I think I think English Heritage came and did a bit of work in, in, I in there. I was going to say because years ago they were doing loads of work. Oh, yeah, they're getting rid of the Betfred and they're getting rid of Derry and House and all that. All of that building's going to be redone. And, and the same with the White, White Orchid and that. All that building's going to get redone. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's, I think there's housing that they're going to actually yeah. compulsory purchase and get them all, kick them all out. But, but like, they're going to spend 10 million over there. They're spending 10 million in the market. But the council put in for 20 bids and the council I mean, got none. I worried the market were going to go when, you know, because, I mean... So it's stolen. You're saying we're going. That's it. Yep. Okay. Well, well, they are. It's known for its market. Well, so well, it won't be. It won't be. They're spending ten million. They're putting a food hall in it. So, like, realistically, they're not going to. Well, I don't know whether they're going to let the these market traders back into a ten million pound market food hall. Right. You know, I mean, like, it, the, for me, it wouldn't appear like this clientele would suit a ten million pound food hall. Now, don't get me wrong, I mean, to be fair, it's happened since market. I mean, it shouldn't, they shouldn't really be spending £10 million on a food hall. You know, they should be spending it on other things. But like I say, the council put in bids all over town. They basically wanted something called the Green Acre, which they were going to make like the whole of an acre of town. But the government said no. There were, that's, there were 20 projects, 17 of them got turned down. The three projects that were allowed were the market, this one here and this one here. And that's because they got outside consultants in to basically push it through for them. Cost them three quarters of a million quid for them outside. But three quarters of a million quid gets you 20. So, I mean, it were a worthwhile investment. You can't call them for it. But, as I say, this £30 million road that they want, they're putting it in for themselves, really. I mean, should they not be actually getting the same consultants in again? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, what... You know, it's a lot of money to be. It's shocking, isn't it, when you think about everything costs. Yeah. It really is, yeah. 30 million. 30 million for a road, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of money. Well, it's a road and a little bit of associated uh, land, so they'll be able to put a little bit of an oh, industrial right, estate yeah, on. Yeah. You know, they, they don't like to just make a road, they like to make a road and a, and a bit extra. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, yeah. These, it's these bit extras that. The adult. T- <laughs> right, they, take up, they take up all that green belt, don't they? So they've got brownfield right. everywhere. I mean, look at HS2, realistically. I mean, like, they stopped. They said north to it. 
but all that land's already been bought probably all of it's a lot of it's probably been been developed a little bit now it's all brownfield in the middle of the countryside isn't it you know like so all right it was worth you know might have been worth 100 grand a foot 100 grand a meter as a, as a railway mm. but as housing might be worth a million pound a meter wow. you know you know what i mean like because yeah. now it's oh it's brownfield oh yeah we well we've got to put housing oh. We couldn't put housing there before because it was green belt. Oh, but yeah. now it's all brownfield. So now, oh, all this little, oh, we've, oh, we've only got like uh, 500 miles to go. Oh, is that all? Oh, all right then, fair enough. You know, I mean, not that I'm being a conspiracy theorist <laughs> or how, but, you know, maybe it were planned. Well, I mean, they did, all, they did all the bit down south, didn't sometimes they? Sometimes it does make you wonder, doesn't it? They did all the bit yeah. down south before they decided, no, we're not going up north. Oh, don't get me you started. Know? I mean, why didn't yeah, they start yeah. up north? Yeah. You know, because if they had started up north, then it would have been finished, wouldn't it? Because yeah. everywhere down south, what it there is doing. But yeah. Hey. yeah, it's a shame. It is a shame. But I mean, yeah. hey, they bunged us a few, a few hundred billion, so we'll be all right. We'll get over it. We'll get over it. Have a, have a couple of hundred billion, you'll be right. What for? Build extra housing. All right. What for who? For who? who, who, who you know, what we're building housing for? You know, these these uh, aspirational houses that are in the middle of the countryside because where else are we going to put them? Oh, yeah, but they've got to expand them, aren't they? Because I, I mean, I know they're an issue over at um, Clitheroe. Okay. Off, you know, about yeah, yeah. We don't exist anymore. Green, green belt don't exist anymore. The government changed the rules. You've got children where they're going to live. If you don't build houses, your children aren't going to have to do anything. Yeah, well, not so in April. They, they, they changed the law and said basically, uh, if if, you, if your town needs housing, then they can build on the periphery. It's not green belt. If it's needed, if yeah, the councils yeah. and how many councils will say, no, we don't need any land. <laughs> no, we don't need any free money. No, no. It's all like brown green belt, greenfield's gone. You know, there'll be pockets of it here and there, like if you look here, the old park here and there, like, but even then, who pays for them? You know, I mean, it's all right putting all these houses. I mean, I don't mind housing, I don't mind. But it's the infrastructure, isn't it? That's the problem. Well, no, yeah, you're you know right, what I mean? Like, like, where's the schools? Where the, where the, where the, there's no money in building a school. There's no money for the for the developer in building a, well, a health centre or, you know, houses, that's what need, and that's exactly what it is. But, they, but, but, but then the councils roll over. You know, they say, oh, well, we want, we want, uh, we want twenty percent of these houses to be to be uh, social housing, and the building companies come around and go, "Well, actually, we can't afford to give them that." And the, the, and the council go, "All right, don't give them then. Just uh, just put us a roundabout somewhere else." <laughs> what? All right, no problem. Right. Well, it's been lovely speaking you to too. you. Too. Have a good one, mate. Yourself. See you later on. Do what I was meant to do now. I've at the market.